Lucas Media. So, Terrence Bud Crawford is scheduled to fight this Saturday. The first fight at 154 pounds. But here's my this is my question. Are we ever going to get the Terrence Crawford versus Earl Spence rematch? I know they had a rematch clause in there. And then we don't know what happened. I don't I don't know if it's the suits. If it's Al Heyman and the PBC. Pretty much telling Bud we're going to move in a... Or Earl Spence we're going to move in a different direction. But we wanted to see the fight at 154 pounds. I don't know what's going on with Earl Spence. I mean, he, he said he was going to exercise his rematch clause. And then he ended up getting hurt. Bud had put out some random tweet saying, you know, I wish you nothing but the best... Uh, Earl Spence, I got to move on. And then he magically, he being Earl Spence, shows up in the ring with Sebastian Fundora after his victory over Tim Tazu. And they were trying to schedule that fight. But of course, the WBO is not going to let that fight happen because they're going to order Terrence Bell Crawford versus Fundora, due that Terrence Bell Crawford was the champion, WBO champion, at 147 pounds. And that's their rule that you can move up and immediately be the mandatory. I don't know. I. I don't think we're going to get this fight no more, honestly. I think because the fight was so one-sided and both these fights are older and the, the politics involved, they don't want this fight to go on, meaning the suits and ties. We should have been got this fight again. I mean, what's going on? I mean, is, is Earl not the same no more? That's something we don't know about? And here's the thing. At 154 pounds, Earl, okay, Earl could have, he could have fought one or two tune-ups and geared up to fight Terrence Bell Crawford at 154 pounds at the top of the year in 25 and if he would have went out there and dominated against his filler fights you know tuna fights he would have generated a buzz buzz like oh man you know is is tearing i mean arrow is different at 154 pounds but we we haven't even seen him fight no more not at 147 not at 154 you really don't hear that many interviews for him the last time that i saw him was he was standing up there as Frank Martin's promoter versus Javante Tank Davis, where he ended up getting stopped. Frank Martin, that is. But I, I, I really wish that we fans, we, we deserve this fight again. Yes, Earl was dominated. It was hard to watch. I had to fight. It was one of my very first videos. I had to fight Terrence edging out Earl Spence, edging him out. But I thought the fight would, would at least go down to the wire. But from round two up, it was a Terrence Burr Crawford show. And then you had people talking about oh, Earl's overrated and all of that. But these same people was talking about Earl was the boogeyman, the body snatcher, or the bone crusher. Was it bone crusher, bone snatcher? Basically, he was breaking you down like how he broke down Ugas in every other fight. But I really hope that we get this fight. Or, I mean, damn, can Earl at least come back and fight somebody? What's going on, Al Heyman in the PBC? Somebody let us know something, you know, and, and it is getting down there. These guys ain't getting no younger, but them and the, uh, put, they all put, they both pushing their late thirties. So it's like, what else do y'all have left to prove? I do know that Terrence is trying to potentially go undisputed at 154. I don't know if the politics will let that happen, but with Earl Spence, man, we don't know what's going on. Like, is he being, is he being silenced or what? I just don't like the way that they, that, that Earl is, Earl is being done. I remember when Earl was coming up. Do y'all remember he got his name off of getting the best of Floyd and sparring? Hanging in there with Floyd and sparring. Then he started chasing Keith Thurman around. Pretty much when Earl came into the picture, Keith Thurman just, I don't know what even happened to him. He just got comfortable and stepped down. Then Earl became unified at 147 pounds. Then he just, he, he was supposed to fight Manny, but Manny had that eye injury or, no, Earl had the eye injury, that, that retina. And, you know, he beat Ugas and then he lose to Crawford, but... He still got more time left in him, but I don't know, man. It's, it's up to the suits. I just, I personally, I just don't think he'll get that fight again, y'all. I'm just giving my honest opinion. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. What do y'all think?